Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back here today with another video, and this is not one of my usual videos. Um, I usually do tarot videos. Sometimes, every now and then, I'll sprinkle, you know, something different in, like a vlog or something. But tonight, it's just kind of a sit-down talking video. So, as you can see by the title, this is my prediction on who I think is going to win the 2024 election. Um, it is October 30th, Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. So, election day is literally right around the corner. We are six days from the big decision and you know it's a big deal right now for the united states and it's very tense it's very divided it's very crazy and i'll be honest i think it's about to get a lot crazier we'll get into a little bit of that but yes that's what we're here to talk about today so if you're new here thank you so much for popping in i appreciate you and if you're one of my regular viewers hi hello welcome back nice to see you here Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I don't get very many views. It's okay. I am grateful for the few people who watch, even if it's just one or two people. It, it's just, it is what it is. You know, I'm just kind of one of those people who is kind of an, under the radar, which is fine. I don't mind that. But yeah, so 2024 election. It's absolutely crazy. You know, it's just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I know what to say, but I don't know what to say. I believe, and I hope you'll continue to watch, I mean, I kind of wanted to wait before I say what I think is going to happen, but I'll just say it, and hopefully you'll listen, you know, and maybe you'll understand some of the points that I'm trying to make across here. So we'll just get right into it. I believe, and I've said this before, actually, I have done a couple, you know, election tarot videos, and I've also done, you know, like specific tarot videos on Donald Trump. I've done, you know, I think maybe one or two on Kamala Harris. I even did one with Biden and Trump, you know, before he had stepped down um, for the presidential candidate. So you can check those out if you want to. And I have even said before, I believe they would do anything in their power to never, ever let Donald Trump back in office. And I'll be honest with you, I still see that. I do not think Donald Trump is going to win. Um, you know, it might be unfortunate for a lot of people. Yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be upset, but I do see Kamala Harris winning the 2024 election. Is it going to be legitimate and legal? I'll be honest with you. I almost want to say no, and I know some people might come for me, and that's okay. But I will say, if you're going to be nasty, I will delete your comment. I don't care. I want, you know, nice people on my page. I don't want a bunch of rude people. And I'll tell you what, I have seen some of the most hateful, disgustingest comments from... I mean, I don't even want to push it more on one side, but a lot of people on the Democrat side can be very nasty people. And I have come to find that out you know, in all of this whole election process, and we'll get into a little bit of that as well. But yes, I believe, and I've said it before, that they will do anything they can to not put Donald Trump back in office, even trying to assassinate him, which did happen, you know, back in the summertime. Luckily, it didn't happen, but he came very, very close. And it's just, it's a very sad situation all the way around. But yes, I do believe Kamala Harris will be the 2024, you know, presidential winner. Winner. I do believe that there is corruption. Again, I know a lot of people might come for me for that, but if you are paying attention and you are awakened, I think you're going to see this. I hope that you see it. If you don't see it yet, I pray that eventually you will be able to take off your rose-colored glasses and you will be able to see reality. I really hope that for you because I want more people, you know, awaken to this stuff. But yes, I think that they are going to put her in. Again, I do think there's going to be a lot of fraud and corruption. Like I said, if you're paying attention, you already see this. Okay, you already see this happening. If you're paying attention. If not, you're just going to be like, oh, you know, blah, blah. You're wrong, and that's fine. That's fine. You are entitled to your own opinion. And I even possibly see her, not even for four years, but possibly eight years. Okay, possibly eight years. So that's what I see. You know, and if I am wrong, I will be the first to get on here and we can all laugh at me together, okay? I give you a full permission, but that's what I see. I do not see them ever letting him back in. They're terrified of him and, you know, a list of many other reasons, but I do believe that Kamala Harris will be the next president. Am I happy with it? I'll be honest with you, no, I'm not. Um, it's very difficult for me to begin with, like the whole government system 
like as a whole I don't believe in it I really don't I think these people are corrupt I think they're evil and it's profit over people that's what I believe it's profit over people in all of these different agencies you know not even just the presidency but you know just all, the whole government the whole government as a whole and you know unfortunately I have lost all trust you know with the government and just the corruption is just it's unbelievable and like i said i hope if you are watching this you can see what i see i know unfortunately a lot of people they're not awakened yet they don't see it and like i said a few minutes ago i really really hope that you will be able to wake up and see past all this stuff and this has been a huge part of my awakening. I will just bring this into this video really quick. 2020 is when I had my so-called spiritual awakening. That's what a lot of us call it. That's what I call it. And, you know, Donald Trump and both Joe Biden were a huge part of my awakening, to be honest with you, because what it did is it opened my eyes up to really, truly see, to see the true picture, you know, see the lie, see the corruption, see the division. And I will never be the same. I will never be the same. Once you wake up, you cannot go back. And it's been very difficult for me to see all these things happening and not being able to do anything about it. But not only that, there's still so many people who are just blind to this. You know, they trust the media. They run to the media. They believe in these people. And I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. I just, I don't trust them. Everything that I see, everything that has came out, it's all lies. I mean, everything we've been taught, even in school, a lot of it is lies. It it's so crazy to me and it's sometimes even hard for me to comprehend like oh my god like what kind of place is this you know meaning earth it's just like oh my gosh like i can't handle it sometimes it's just it's too intense you know and i'm i'm a very sensitive individual i am i'm an empath i and a lot of people oh you know people who say they're empaths aren't empaths but i am you know you can believe what you want but i feel I feel on a collective level and it's very intense and like I said I really hope some people that are watching this can kind of understand where I'm coming from and maybe feel the same way that I do I really hope so that way I don't look like a complete buffoon but if I do you know what oh well I'm me that's just how it is love me or hate me I don't really care I really don't your opinion means nothing so I just want to put that out there but yeah 2020 was just a turning point in my life everything changed everything just my eyes opened to the world and like i said everything is a lie everything we've been taught is a lie um even the food that they feed us in the united states is like poison you know we've been led to believe that it's you know good for us and it's gonna help us that's a whole nother video that's a whole nother video for a different day but just seeing all this stuff it's just it's maddening it's so maddening, at least to me it is. And it's just, it's, it's very difficult to um, try to grasp all this stuff. And another really big thing too that has really made me open my eyes is the division in this country. And this is another reason why I do not like, you know, government. Um, it's another reason why I don't trust, you know, mainstream media and all that stuff because the division is just, it's absolutely disgusting to me. It is so disgusting. I've seen the way that they just, you know, you know some of y'all might not like this, especially if you are a Democrat, and I do apologize. You know, I don't mean any hate. I don't mean anything. But just some of the stuff I've seen, like even with Trump and just a lot of, you know, Democrats, you know, even just like on Facebook posts, like when he almost got killed and stuff, you know, all these comments about how, oh, you should have killed him and, oh, too bad the bullet missed or, oh, I hope he dies. And then even some of the stuff, you know, Biden came out yesterday and, you know, said Trump supporters are garbage, you know, and comparing Trump to Hitler, I mean, seriously, like you do realize Hitler killed like six million, probably plus people. And you're comparing Donald Trump to that like that. It's pure delusion to me and people believe it. And then you wonder why people want to murder this man. Because the problem is, is people do suck up this stuff in mainstream media. They believe it. They trust in them. They believe everything that they say and congratulations because you've been successfully programmed and you know i really hope someday you can open your eyes but that behavior that division and that wishing death upon your political opponents and you know people who are on the opposite side that is disgusting to me like you you need healing you really truly do you need to heal your heart because that hatred it's just nasty to me it, like, I feel so bad for you guys. I really do. I'm so sorry. 
you know, I, I really truly am, and I, I don't want to be mean. I mean, I don't think I am, but, you know, I know a lot of people are sensitive. But I don't even know, like, how you guys can believe half of the things you hear. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's tough for me, too, because I'm awakened to this, and I can see it, but I do realize that a lot of people are not awoken yet. They don't see this yet. And like I said, the only thing that I can do is just pray that more people will awaken, you know, to all this stuff, because I do not believe the government cares about us. I don't think they ever have. It's all about lining their pockets. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even think the president and all, they don't run the show. There's people ahead of them. They're puppets. That's what they are is puppets. And, you know, this whole right left, it's just it's another tool to divide. And it works. It works. And they know it works. And that's why they do what they do. And I just, I cannot stand it. Like, the hatred that these people have, it is just so heartbreaking to me that you can have so much evil in your heart and just be okay with it. I pray for you. I, I absolutely pray for you. But, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. I, I, I don't want to make this video too long. I, I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but... You know, I just, I really wanted to put this out there. It's just everything going on. It's just, it's really just for one, it's opened my eyes, but at the same time, it's just broke my heart in half because I just see the way that we've been divided and, you know, how successful it has been and just the hatred towards each other. And, you know, I've got bad news, you know, for a lot of you people, we are one, whether you want to believe that or not, we are all one. We all bleed the same. We are all the same. We might look different, you know, we might be a different color, you know, skin, but we are all one and people need to realize that like we need to come together. We need to stop this right, left, you know, all this bullshit, you know, because it's not going to help us in the end. And I will tell you what, in the end, the government is not going to come save us, you know, when shit does go down. And that's another thing that I want to say on this video too. buckle up, because I really, truly believe that we are headed towards times that nobody has ever seen before. But I also believe, you know, because like I said, I am a spiritual person. I do believe that we can have a new earth and all that, you know, woo woo shit that some of you people might think it is. But to me, I believe in that. I truly do. And I do believe that these systems have to crumble. They all have to crumble and we have to break this down and, you know, make it better. I don't want to say build back better because that's just no no but you know what i'm saying like just it's not working i don't think the system we have in place is working and it's just again like i've said the division it is just it's maddening to me it's absolutely maddening to me and i cannot stand it it hurts my heart so bad because it shouldn't be this way like i said we need to take care of each other we need to be there for each other because someday that might be all we have again like i said a minute ago they're not coming to save us they don't care about us they might act like they do and it's both sides you know i'm not going to sit here and stick up for one or the other but it's just it's so crazy to me it's absolutely crazy to me and um yeah and i'm to the point you know even where i question if i should even go vote next week i'm going to i am going to it doesn't i don't think it really matters you know who for um but i will tell you i do not like the way the past three and a half years has went so you can probably get an idea who i would go for not that it matters though it doesn't matter and you know don't come after me for that you know you can you want to go vote for kamala that's fine you want to vote for trump that's fine vote who you feel in your heart is going to be the best candidate okay that's that's what i'm gonna do um i really did like rfk's you know stuff especially with like the make america healthy again i am a huge advocate you know especially for like the foods that we're being fed in the united states like i said that's a whole nother topic and maybe you know i can make a video about that in the future if anyone even just one person you know would like to watch it but I really, really like that because I hate the way that we are just being poisoned in our own country. A lot of these other countries have banned all these chemicals. You do not need Red 40 and all these dyes and all this food. You don't need it. Um, it's disgusting. And not only just the food dyes, but just all the chemicals that are just loaded in food in the United States and the sugars. And then you wonder why everybody is so sick and obese and it just the quality of life has just decreased in the past 50 years like you know cancers up diabetes up obesity is up and i just i really really stand behind that with rfk i really love that you know that's something that he stands up for because i'm very passionate about that kind of stuff i believe that we do need to be healthy i believe that a lot of these chemicals they need to be removed there's no reason for it 
there's no reason for and even I because of the American diet and struggling with health problems I have a fatty liver I have a bad gallbladder I have heart disease you know it and a lot of it is because of the diet that I was fed it's just, it's so sad. I'm not even 30 yet and I have all these problems. And I'm sure there's probably a lot of other people my age who, you know, have things like this and don't even know about it. Okay. It's a serious thing. So I really stood behind him for that. You know, he endorsed Donald Trump. That's who I would vote for. I know a lot of you guys, you know, just don't be nasty. Cause like you people on the left side, you can be very mean people. Like I'm just going to be honest. And I know the Republicans can be too. Okay. I know the Republicans can be too, and I'll tell you an example of how I think the Republicans can be nasty. In my town, it is mostly, you know, Trump country, but what some of the Republicans have been doing is they've been going around and stealing the Harris Walt signs off their property, and I don't think that's right. I, I think that's wrong. I get you don't like the other party. I absolutely understand that, but going around and stealing their property, come on, man. Come on. It's just, it's not right. Like, it's just not right. So, you know, I'm not going to take sides on either part of that, but I mean, some of the comments that I've heard out of, you know, some Democrats mouth, you know, even, you know, like I just said, like the top leaders who have said all this stuff and, you know, how Trump needs to be exterminated and how Trump is Hitler. It's just, it is so disgusting to me. I, I pray for you, people who feel that way. Like I said, you don't have to like anyone, but to just wish harm on another human being because you don't like them and you don't agree with their views I can't respect you. I can't get behind you. I really don't want to be anywhere near you because you have a lot of hatred in your heart and I don't want to surround myself with people like that. This is why like, I don't like politics to begin with because it is just this, it's this horrible divide and I don't like it. But I'm going to leave it at that. I, like I said, I don't want to keep going on and on because I could go on and on all night. But yes, I do believe that Kamala Harris will be installed. She will be the president, and do not be surprised if it's an eight-year term. It could very well be. I can see that happening. I know a lot of people are going to be upset, and I get it. I absolutely get it. I am not for violence, though. I'm not for any of that stuff, so I'm going to leave it at that. But I do believe that she will be the next president, and they're not going to let Trump back in. Like I said, if I'm wrong, I'll come back on here when we get the results, and like I said, we can laugh at me together. I will laugh with you. But that's what I see. That's what I feel in my heart. And um, one more thing before I close this video, I will say buckle up because we're in for a ride. We are in for a ride and I, I pray for this country. I pray for this nation. And I pray that whatever happens, we're able to get through it. And that's all I can really say. But yeah, that's my prediction. I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please be nice. Please be nice, okay? Because I will delete you. I don't want any of that shit on my page. There's enough division. There's enough anger. There's enough hate in this world, and I don't want it on my page. So I appreciate that. And for you people who have all the hate in your heart, I pray for you. I love you. God bless. So I just wanted to throw in this little quick clip before I close the video here. Since I do like to pull tarot cards, I figured what we would do really quick is pull a couple cards on Trump and a couple cards on Kamala and just see what comes up, you know, with the whole thing. So I shuffled everything out here. What I'm just going to do is just pick, we're going to do two on the top for Trump. We're going to do two on the bottom for Kamala. And I will leave it at that. So I want to make this quick. So for Trump. Trump, we have the Five of Swords, okay? So, as you can see here, it talks about conflict, battles, fights, violence, aggression, intimidation, competition, hostility, defeat. So, you know, I look here and you can see people, you know, walking away, throwing down their swords, um, you know, the defeat, you know, which unfortunately would mean, you know, he's not going to be the next president of the United States. And I do believe it is going to cause a lot of fights and battles. I think people are going to lose their freaking mind. That's what I believe. So, yeah, that's what we got here. Then we also have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is about, like, hard work. You know, hard work, you know, paying off and whatnot. Well, he does, he has made, you know, mistakes even, like, with his own, you know, businesses and stuff, but, like, his campaign, like, this dude worked like hell, at least from what I saw, 
okay, he busted his ass off, he went all over the place, he really, he really got himself out there, and he just, he worked very, very hard, and, you know, even all the shit that they threw at him, and, you know, the assassination attempts, and just all the horrible media stuff against him, like, he still stood up, and he still fought for what he thought is right, He's very strong, and I do admire him for that. I really do. Because if it were me who went through even half the shit that he went through, I'd probably want to go run away and hide forever. But not Trump. You know, that's not Trump. He, you know, not give up. And, you know, he did work very, very hard on his campaign, at least from what I saw, because I have been watching all this stuff. I've been paying attention to it from the beginning. So, yeah. It's unfortunate, but, you know... I guess it is what it is. And we have the two for Kamala. So we have the moon first off, and this talks about illusion. You know, fear, intuition, subconscious, anxiety, delusion, anxiety, deception. Um, I do believe it. it's going to be different for Kamala. You know, she has been a VP, but she's actually going to be the president now. So it's like a whole new world kind of for her. You know, it's a new opportunity. But just, I don't know, the biggest thing I pick from this card, you know, and I read the moon is like secrets and illusion. You know, you may see something, but behind closed doors, it's not what it is. Okay. Everything is not what it seems is what I just heard in my head. So just be aware of that. And, you know, pay attention to the deception and the delusion because, you know, I think that's what a lot of it's going to be. And I'm not even going to get into, you know, all her stuff and some of the things that she said. But I'll be honest, a lot of stuff that I've heard, you know, with her interviews and stuff, like she just, I don't think she's the best at talking to people. I mean, I'm not either. So I get it. But I just, I don't know. I think you should definitely know how to answer, be able to answer questions and talk to people. I think it's very important, you know, especially with a job that she's going to have and already does have, but I just, I don't think she's the best at talking to people and more people are going to be able to see through that. But yeah, deception, delusion. And I, I, I think it'll be tough for her, but we'll see what happens. You know, we will see what happens. And then we have the Ace of Swords for her. And this talks about clarity, you know, sound decision, breakthroughs, justice, new opportunities. I do believe that this, you know, is relating to like her career. You know, it is a new opportunity for her within her career so that does make sense and you know I see that conflict too and I did believe either way no matter who got in office there was going to be some big uproar you know even if she's to get in people are going to lose their minds and even you know if Trump was the one that happened to get in people were going to lose their minds either way so there could be a lot of conflict surrounding you know her and her life with this but it is a new opportunity for her you know within her career so I guess for her, it's a good thing. I don't know, but that's what I pulled. I'm just going to pull the two that I did for each of them. I don't want to be here all night, and I want to close this video, but that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.